Chairs has had so many amazing honorary chairpersons over the years, and this year is no different. Joining me right now, Olympic silver medalist and two-time Manchester Road Race champion, Sally Kipiego. Sally, thanks so much for being with us. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Well, the newsroom has really been a buzz. We're really excited to have you here. You, the first time you ran the Manchester Road Race was in 2010, and that was the first of your two back-to-back -back race or wins in Manchester. So it certainly has a special place for you. Absolutely. Um, I remember coming back and uh, coming actually in 2010 and it was the very beginning of my career and it started a great career for me because um, after the 2010 I was able to go to the world championship the next year and got a medal and then the, the following year also I got a, an Olympic medal so I feel like um, the Manchester Road Race really started it all together. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I have to imagine being named the chairperson was really just really a big deal and kind of brought you back to those first big wins. Yeah, um, it's just a great honor, really. I'm really humbled that they are celebrating my win, but also that I have been able to come to Manchester a few times and I've built uh, some relationship with, with a family here in town. Mm -hmm. And it just, I've just always felt like Manchester's been good to me and and I'm just really honored to, to be brought back and to be honored and, and I just get to celebrate uh, with this community. So I'm really happy. Yeah, covering this for more than a decade, we hear so often from people involved in the race, running the race, that the Manchester Road Race is kind of like a homecoming. And you've had multiple <laughs> homes in many different countries, but still Manchester holds a special place for you. And it does have that family feeling for you. Yes, because um, I, Manchester has a unique feeling because of how the community really gets Comes involved. Together. Yes, yeah. yes, because um, not only do you get a chance to, you can see at a hotel, but the families, the local families, also most of the athletes. Mm -hmm. and so. You you get to spend uh, Thanksgiving um, with a family, and so you get to know a family, and you get to spend time. And uh, my host family, um, the Fitzgeralds, they, they've hosted me several times. My husband and I have ran this race in, in the past, and we've spent that time in their with their family. And that relationship has really become, you know, we feel like we're part of of this family and this community. And so um, I think. Manchester does a wonderful job of mm -hmm. really welcoming athletes from all over the world and making them feel at home, away from home. Yeah, family yeah. really is a core theme of the Manchester Red Race. And yeah. speaking of family, your family has really <laughs> expanded. You have had a lot going on. You are a busy mom of three now. Yes, yes. So um, we, in 2017, my husband and I welcomed our first daughter, um, uh, Emma. She's six. Mm -hmm. And then in 2020, we adopted um, a girl who's 12 years old, her name is Cherub. And then um, last year I had um, our son, Ivan, who's now one year old. So i um, been busy and really busy with motherhood and all that. Yeah. yeah. A yeah. different type of race that you're running. It doesn't <laughs> yeah. stop, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So you were in Oregon for a long time. You recently moved back to Kenya and now you're back here yes. uh, for this event. And what's next for you? Um, I think for now I'm just really um, I haven't gone back to the running bits mm -hmm. um, really. Um, I think with my other children, I spent a lot of time traveling mm -hmm. and being away from them. And I just feel yeah. like this time around, I really want to be closer with the little one and yeah. staying more at home. So I think uh, this next year, we'll probably be spending more time with the family and then see what happens the, the yeah. next few years. Yeah. Well, that's really important. Yeah, yeah. I can totally relate. <laughs> so this year, it's nice. You're not going to be running. You're going to sit back and you're just going to enjoy your honorary duties, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Um, I get to cheer and I get to be part of it and celebrate, but now I really run. So yeah, mm -hmm. I really look forward to having a wonderful Thanksgiving, having a chance to spend time in Manchester with loved ones and, and uh, cheering on everyone that is out there running. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, very happy. Well, congratulations once again. Thank you You've very had an much. Incredible, incredible career. We've just been really happy to follow you all these <laughs> years along Thank the you. Manchester Road and race in our coverage. Thank you so much. And congratulations once again. Appreciate that.